Shane Getzen here, the MLA for Laxan Parkland. Uh, you catch me on a little bit of a road trip, so like many of you, I'm out stretching my legs today. Um, really happy about that. So we've been kind of spitballing in the office a little bit about the relaunch, how we're uh, diversifying our economy. And again, in our region, we actually are pretty darn diverse. You know, when you talk about the energy sector, folks just think about one thing, or they think about agriculture, they're kind of fixated on it. What I'm going to be doing here over the next while is highlighting how much diversity that we actually have in our area, how much we have regionally, how we, you know, are trading partners with the different counties beside us and on the other side of the constituencies. So I'm pretty lucky in our area. We have, uh, you know, Lac St. Anne, obviously the county of Lac St. Anne, you've got the, Lac, or the county of Parkland, we have Sturgeon County, we have a part of uh, Westlock County and, and part of, um, again as well, uh, Yellowhead County. So again, stretching all the way from the borders of Edmonton uh, out to Highway 22 being our western boundaries. As far south as uh, the south side of, of uh, Lake Wobbeman and then up north just shy of Barhead. We cover quite a bit of different grounds. We have Atchison Industrial Park over on the east. We have, um, you know, the economic regions being the, the ag producers around that area. So very fertile farm farmland. We have forestry sector, again, on that side of things, equipment. We have uh, energy, we have pipelines running through these areas as well. We've got great little uh, groups like Sang, so uh, uh, like St. Anne, or, or St. Anne Natural Gas is one of the, the largest, I believe, for the gas side of it. And then we're putting in some infrastructure out here now too for, you know, wastewater and fresh water treatment. We used to have, uh, with the parkland side of things, uh, all the coal-fired power plants, so obviously we have power generation on our area as well. So when you start talking about the spin-off areas, we have some other ones that folks don't even pay attention to, like aerospace. So the Villeneuve Airport, there's the Villeneuve Landing Network, is going to be concentrating on growing up the businesses and supporting the aerospace sector. And that's not to take away from Parkland Airport, it's not to take away from uh, Josephburg or Marathorpe or any of the other ones. It's literally to start to show what we have out here. So I'm going to be doing a trip, I'm going to be coming to different people uh, in your areas and communities within the constituency, and we might do a couple of borderline shots as well to show how deep and how diversified our economies are and what we have. Now the next big thing that I'm going to be working on honestly is to make sure that we're getting the uh, infrastructure in place to get our commodities to market. And once we do that, that's where we grow out the value add chain. So think of it as rather having the cow sitting out in the field and maybe just chopped up and thrown on the barbecue to final fit. We're looking at trying to grow the industries and get access to global markets. And again, make sure that Alberta made items are grown out all the way and going from raw commodities to more finished products. So I hope you enjoy the tour. Hopefully I didn't ramble on here too much while I'm driving. And uh, I'm looking forward to sharing your story. And if you have any ideas, you want to showcase your business or some of the community items that are taking place, reach out to us either on our Facebook page or our website, and uh, we'll be out. I want to hear those good news stories and hear what you want to be when you grow up and what our province can be when we diversify fully. Thanks, folks. Take care.